Okay, so I'm here with Missy with the Dig for the Day archaeological dig that I usually take my groups to, but I want her to describe where we are, what we're seeing, and what we're going to do. So May Missy, take it away. Okay. Well, I want to welcome you to this ancient city of Moresha. So we have found in this area 5,000 caves. 5,000. 5,000 5, caves. Okay, we're going to talk about why and what's going on yes. with these caves. Um, Bliss and McAllister are the two archaeologists who dug up on the town. Uh, 1900, they started walking around, they found a cave. They're like, oh, that's interesting. There's a cave there. Yeah. Then they found another one. And like, mm, and then they found another one. Okay, so said, something's going on with these caves. So they decided the first cave right. that they found, they're going to call that cave number one. one. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm so, catching on. Yes. Yeah, the second <laughs> cave was cave number two. Okay, yes. brilliant. Okay. <laughs> The 89th cave system that was found is what we're looking at over oh, here. Okay. So about 15 years ago, we found a hole. Right. Uh, it's now covered underneath that black tarp. Okay. And as we were digging, we started expanding, and we saw that there's different rooms connected to each other. Right. So to date, that seems to be the northernmost area of the 89 cave system. Okay. It connects to this tarp, to this tarp, to this tarp, to this tarp right. all the way down below. Okay. So basically, there's a wall full of caves underneath right. our feet. Okay. And we're going to see a very small piece right. of a very large extensive cave Because system. it goes all over these mountaintops, This right? entire area, right. right. This is the only natural resource they have in the area to build their city, and for thousands of years, this is what they did. How many caves have you, to date, excavated? Archaeological seminars? Correct. Uh, less than 10% of that. Less than 10%, yeah. so. Yeah. So yeah, my job, job security, security, right, job security, security good. Yes. corona, yes. no yes. corona, yes. there's a lot of dirt going so on. So where do you get most of your, uh, is it volunteers? Is it actually people in college that are studying archaeology? Or where do so you get we have lots of different kinds of people who come out. Um, most people um, who come out to date are uh, coming from outside of Israel. Okay. Um, they see lots of archaeological sites along the tour. Right. And what we give them is a little bit of a background on the archaeological process. You right. You go to the city of David, you go to Masada. It didn't and look like that right. when they Years found ago, it. There's correct. a lot of work that goes into making an archaeological site right. uh, open to the public, so a little bit of the background. And then, of course, the idea of being able to actually touch right. history. Uh, some of the stuff that we find ends up in museums. Oh. And to be the first person to see these uh, things, to touch right. them, to know that they exist. Uh, and it's is, real. Is, right. Yes. So, so that's sort of the magic about coming out and learning about archaeology and learning about history and, you know, tangible history, we'll call it. I love it. So most of it goes to the Israeli Museum or different museums? Or Dep depends on who wants to display what. Okay. I don't know if we have anything international. I was wondering. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of politics that goes oh, into. Oh, I'm sure. Um, I know with the Dead Sea Scrolls, there's a lot of politics. On, right. Uh, so, and that's not anything that I do. No. Something else I was going to ask you, so we were talking about it earlier, is that um, not grave robbers, but archaeology robbers. Oh. So tell us a little bit about oh, that. Oh, come and see. I, was, I, don't, I yeah. don't have to tell you, I'll show you. Yeah. Right? There it is. What we're going to do right now is we are going to go into a piece of the 89 cave system. Okay. Um, we actually, when we came in, we, as I mentioned, we came from that area, expanded it. Um, so coming down, we're going to take safety into consideration. Okay. Yeah. That's so we a have, good thing. We have our banisters, and we'll come down slowly, carefully. It is a beautiful day. Sydney, you brought so a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank, Thank you for you. this beautiful oh. weather. Uh, it's a little warm. Downstairs, we have some uh, beautiful air conditioning. That's right. It's naturally it's cool. Naturally cool. So we have our very high-tech uh, eye tools. Right. Okay. Our most important is going to be uh, the, the dirt bucket, okay. the pick, the trowel, and we're just literally trying to get to the bottom of the cave, trying to get rid of all this destruction there. Okay. So using our pick and a raking motion, right. just loosening up the dirt. So if we if find pottery. Oh! Uh, hello! I, know, I just found a lot of pottery. This yeah. isn't fake, everybody. This is real. This is <laughs> Do you want to show them what you just found? I found some pottery. 
She, she's like saying, I found pottery. This is not just pottery. First of all, wait, can you look at this, Cindy? What is it? Okay, so you have a cooking pot. Right. Back then, where they would um, oh, cook, look at they that. would put it, uh, the pot right into the fire. Right. And that just came off on my thumb. Oh, this that's is amazing. leftover from making dinner 2,200 years ago. You are the first person to touch this in oh, 2,200 to years. 2,200 years. I found this. That's amazing. percent of the buckets that we fill up there's material in here that we can't see we down can't below see, right okay. so what we're going to do right now is we're going to bring up these buckets of dirt okay and we're going to sift through it and that's when we find the small stuff okay that sounds good <laughs> we just took up a bunch of uh buckets of dirt right and now we're sifting for the small stuff we couldn't see down below right. so just I'm without heavy. even going i got a nice uh no, actually, this is a rock, but okay. I just saw, I saw something how in there. This exactly. yeah. yeah, that's how we do it. Okay. We're a team already. All right. Okay, okay. So, tilt so I want to see what she's looking for. There we go, so you can see. Okay. Here, there you go. There's a big chunk here. Where do you see the big chunk? Right here. All right, there's a piece of pottery. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see what else we have here. Right. A rock. Right. Oh, okay. look at that. Oh, oh, my, wait, what, what is, is that? It's a coin, I believe. Okay, there's a coin here. Look at this, wow. you guys. Wow, unbelievable. Okay. Tell me what, what that is. Okay, exactly. so we have a, a small coin. Okay. Um, looking at the color, this is made out of bronze. Okay, wow. Okay. Um, obviously, we can't see what's written here because it's right. been, it's been, uh, it's, it's been oxidizing. One, it's been getting rusty for the last two. So, We're amazing. Wow. Yeah. So we get very excited when we find coins. I am excited. Because uh, there's a lot of information on right, coins. So we right. might have a person, we might have some writing, we might remember writing some And it's littler than I thought it would be. I was looking teeny, for bigger teeny, coins. Teeny, tiny, yeah. Wow. So, um, yeah. Well, maybe we'll find good another. Good find. It was a good find. Now, I'm something like this. Uh, uh, we were talking about pottery. antiquity uh, right. theft and things like that. Wow. So something like this we have to put directly to the lab. So would but you... I'm, I'm going to put this in your hand oh because my goodness, I can't usually believe this it. is what you see behind glass in a museum. Yes. To touch it. I am so excited. Everything that Cindy found needs to go to the lab. Um, when we were in the cave, we saw different rooms. Each room was like a box of puzzle pieces. It's a lot easier to put the puzzle back together again when you know what box it came from. So we're digging in the room that we call Poppy. Um, so over here we have our little pea for Poppy. Right. Uh, what you're looking at over here, this is what's been found in that room called Poppy in the, uh, this past week. Uh, from here, it goes to our lab. We wash it, clean it, put it all together. So Cindy, if you would like the drum roll. Okay. As you right. ceremoniously put your pottery with all of his friends over here. This goes to the pottery pile. Okay. The pit pot posy. What was you call me was? That's beautiful. What is that? This is a tooth. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So we're talking about the different animals. Right. So this is just like a big tooth maybe from a camel. And you even uh, found common... nail or something? Oh, like, go ahead, a part of, from what? Uh, maybe tooth, camel, but again, oh. you know, what kind of animals do they have? Right. And you know, what are they using the animals for? Right. So um, again, a lot of information. Well, that's that a tooth. Good. And what about this iron or whatever? What's that's it? modern. That's modern. Okay, yeah, that, that's gets, that, that gets edited out. And like a shell. And... So the shells, um, uh, so snails do come underground, okay. they don't come oh. that far underground. So. Yeah, beautiful pieces. Like look at this. Isn't one this a water bowl or something? Exactly. A dripping bowl. A dripping good, good bowl. Good memory. Beautiful. Well, I, you guys have good... You have what an exciting day. We found a coin. We found bone. We found pottery shards. And it was amazing. Thank you, Missy. And thank you, Shy, for taking the time to be with us. And I can't wait to come back Yay. with my group. And I hope both of you will be here to bless us, really. Thank well, you so thank much. You. Thank you so much for coming out. Oh, it and was... I just want to, if I could stress, we cannot do this dig without people like you. Oh, so thank you group. so much for all thank of your you. help. Thank you very out. much. Oh, thank you. You guys are amazing. I hope you watch down on the bottom so you can link to their website. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to come. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Thank you guys. See you soon. See you, See you soon. soon.